Hey guys, this is John Wilson again uh, for Talk Class Portraits. I'm going to show you a little something here about uh, using old film negatives. If you'd like to have any of those converted over for any reasons, uh, let me go ahead and turn off this light here on the side. This is actually used whenever I'm going to be uh, copying some uh, prints. But for today's purposes, I'm just going to show you some something about these negatives, especially as older negatives hardly anybody shoots anymore. Um, some people do, believe it or not. But anyway. What I've got here is a couple strips of uh, medium format film. It's uh, from 120 or 220 roll film. Uh, this is back from the day when I was shooting with 645 uh, Pentax cameras. Uh, mostly shooting weddings, of course, but you know, this is an old Kodak Veracolor. This film was really uh, renowned for its uh, Caucasian flesh tone reproduction. Um, but uh, anyway, these negatives are also, uh, because it's 645, these negatives are like three times, almost three times the size of these uh, 35 millimeter negatives. And that's the reason why from the medium format, we could uh, get much better looking uh, enlargements without uh, getting a whole, a whole lot of grain or anything else like that. But uh, what I'm going to do here, um, I'm just going to use my cell phone. I would normally use my camera up here, my copy camera, to uh, get some really high quality copies of the images I'm going to work with to convert to digital but here I'm just going to use my cell phone so the image is not going to be as great but just to show you make it more convenient just to really quickly throw together this little video just to to show something that it's, it's possible it's easy to do okay freeze on that here's a second and capture that right there okay now I'm going to do is just transmit that over to the computer it takes a few seconds now I'll make my way over to the computer. Take me a second, bear with me. I'm not going to do a whole lot of editing of this video. Okay, now I get this on the screen. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And say so there's the image I just captured. It's a, a negative. That's a, of course that's a digital negative image now. And let me get my button over here. I'm going to convert this just quickly for convenience. It may look a whole lot better. Let me get this button right there. Okay. There, there we go. Uh, now, when I actually shoot that with my copy camera and uh, get in here and do some little tweaking this way, and that's going to look really good. It makes a really great looking positive image. And uh, I can really crop in, zoom in, whatever I need to do. And we can superimpose uh, any one of the three subjects or all three subjects into another image that was created like maybe on your wedding day. So if you've had someone very special who passed away before the wedding day, it's very fast and easy for me to uh, to do this, and we can get that image of them in there for you to to have that to help them memorialize memorialize that person in your wedding album or any photographic print you'd like to have made. I'm more than happy to do that. But I just want to everybody to see that's some of the things I can do. I can convert uh, old negative films into positive. So even if you don't got a photographic print, we can still uh, capture an image from a negative. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching.